Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP memory and a back memory. And in the previous videos, we understood the concept of SAP memory. We understood the concept of a back memory. We did the practical for the SAP memory and we did the practical for the ABAP memory. Now in this video, I will cover three important points related to SAP memory and ABAP memory. So what is the first point? The first point is we have a standard table of SAP in which SAP store all the memory IDs, all the SAP memory IDs. Suppose I will go to SC11 transaction code. You all know SC11 is the transaction code for a BAP dictionary. And we have a table. The name of the table is TPARA. What is this table? This table has all the SAP memory IDs. It is a directory for the memory IDs. Just now in the previous videos, what we did, we did the practical for SAP memory. If you remember, at that time, we used the memory ID AUN. If I will go to VBAK table and show you, we set the value for VBELN. This is the data element for VBELN. And in the further characteristics, we have this parameter ID or we can say the memory ID, SAP memory ID. So all the memory IDs, whatever SAP provided, it is available into this standard table. It is a directory for the memory IDs. Suppose I will go to the contents of the table. We used which memory ID? AUN, SAP memory ID. If I will execute, SAP will give the clear understanding. AUN is the memory ID for sales order number. And if you see this table, in this table, we have so many memory IDs. You can see more than 13,000. It means SAP has provided more than 13,000 memory IDs, which SAP is using. Just now we took the example of sales order number. So all the SAP memory IDs are available into this TPARA table. It is a directory for the memory IDs. Now we will go for second and third important point. From the starting itself, I am saying SAP memory is a global memory and a back memory is a local memory. Global memory means it is available across the sessions. If you set and wherever we have a get logic, we will always, always able to see the value because it is available across the session. But your uh, back memory is local to a particular session. Even if you export, yes, it is not. If you are going for import in another session, it will not be available there. So it is extremely important to understand this point. Suppose I will go for the example which we took for SAP memory. Suppose this is the program. I will put a breakpoint. And we'll compare, yes. Now I will simply put a breakpoint. Okay, anyways, breakpoint is there. I'm just going for execute. Suppose I'm giving the input 171. I'm running this program into this particular session. I will close other session so that there will not be any confusion. I'm closing this session. I'm closing this session. So I have only one session in which we are running this ALB program. I'm clicking onto this. I clicked onto 171 sales order number. Now, whenever I will execute, now this 171 value stored into this SAP memory ID. I'm executing. And you can see, we are able to see 171 because SAP has written the logic for 
get memory ID into this VA03 transaction code. Now just see, as of now we set an SAP has get, yes. So we have set the value 171 and through get, we are able to see the value 171 in VA03. So this is the session. This is the session in which we did everything. Suppose I'm going for another session. Suppose in another session, I'm opening BA02. BA02 is what? Sales order change transaction code. In this transaction code itself, SAP has written the logic for get parameter ID. Get parameter ID AUN. I'm putting enter. And have you seen 171 reflected here also? We did everything into this particular session. But in this session also, we are able to see 171 because this is your SAP memory. It is available across all the session. You set, but after that, whatever the sessions you are opening in which there is a get logic, get logic for that memory ID, you will be able to see the value because it is a global memory, global memory. Now just see, now I'm going to back button. You all know on the back button, we have written the logic to clear the memory ID, SAP memory ID. If I will go to back button, if I will go to back, you can see we have written the logic to clear the memory ID. We have written the logic. Now, if I will simply run, if I will open VA02 or VA03, suppose I am going for VA02, you can see 171 is not there. Because whenever get logic executed, there is nothing in the memory ID. So it is extremely important to understand. Yes, you will set the SAP memory. Whenever you will set the value to SAP memory ID, if you are opening other sessions also, and we have a get logic there for the same memory ID, we can access the same to same value because it is your global memory, global memory. Now, now I will go for this particular a back memory. And I'm putting so much stress because this is extremely important. Now I will go for a back memory program. This is our ABAP memory program. Now I will, for time being, for the best understanding, I am just commenting the logic to delete the value from the memory ID. I am just delete. I am just commenting this logic. Anyways, it is required. I am just commenting so that I can give you clear understanding. I am running this program in which we have that date and name both. Now, I'm putting a breakpoint. Now, I will run this program. Now, I'm giving some date range. I'm giving the name. Now, we are exporting and I will close other sessions so that there will not be any confusion. Okay. I'll just open again. Sorry. Okay. I'll just, now we have one session only. So I'm just putting that date. I will go to execute. I'm going to desktop three. Anyways, it's desktop three because it is by default set. You exported the value to this memory ID. Done. Now we are calling F7. Now while import, whenever we imported, now you can see we have the value. We have the value into this particular S underscore ER now. Now I am not deleting. I am not deleting. So for the best understanding, see I am not deleting it from the memory ID. I am executing. I got the result. Now what I will do in another session, I will try to get the value from this memory ID. So this is our program in which we have the import logic. So for the best understanding, I have not deleted so that people can understand. 
am putting a break point here. We exported, yes, but we imported after that in that session, but I have not deleted that. Now I am going for input. So you see, we exported, we imported, but I have not deleted. It means whenever I will go for another session and use import, use import, it should return me the value, but it will not return the value because your app memory is local. So it is only, only into this particular session, into this particular session. Now, if I will simply do F6, you can see S underscore ER num is blank because people think we exported, but we are not deleting. So if we go for other sessions also, we will be able to access the value. No, because a app memory is local to that particular session. So for the best understanding, I comment, delete, commented that part. So it that the clarity will be more that you are not deleting still still we are not able to access in the another session so this video is again extremely important especially from the understanding perspective so we covered three important points here firstly we have a table what is the name of the table t p a r a in this table we have the memory ids we have the sap memory ids I'm talking about SAP memory IDs. It is a directory for memory IDs. You can simply see the contents of this particular table. We use the SAP memory ID AUN. After that, I showed you why, why we are saying that SAP memory is a global memory. So I showed you. We set the value in the memory ID in one session. And we are able to see 117. And whenever I am opening other transaction codes, if SAP has written the logic to get the value from the memory ID, we will be able to see that value because it is a global map. Yes, if you are deleting, that's a different thing. If you will delete, then you will not be able to see that value in another session. Then when I came to the back button, yes, the value got deleted and we are not able to see the value. Next point, we came on to the ABAP memory. And for the best understanding, I commented that part delete from the ABAP memory ID. So we firstly exported, we imported, and we have not deleted. We have not deleted. Perfectly fine. The program is working fine. Then I went to another session and I run this program. This program in which we have the import statement because ultimately we need to check are we getting the value or not? Because people think we have not deleted. So if I will go for running this program into another session, I should get a value from this. No, because a back memory is a local memory. If you go for other sessions, if you are going, if, uh, if you have not deleted, but still you will not be able to get anything from that particular memory acting. So this is all about SAP memory and ABAP memory and one of the important concepts. So that's it in this video. Thank you.